Fredo who runs Gateway Rehab. He's a great friend of mine. And he told me one day, he said he's taken care of tens of thousands of addiction patients and has never met one that woke up one day and said, today my goal was to get addicted to narcotics. In town, talking about what could we do about this. Our group, uh, we, we make Narcan kits in my basement and the health plans support us and we get people started on medically assisted treatment of addiction. We teach them, we teach them the course you're about to see in a couple of minutes. It's about a seven minute long video. Then we make them demonstrate how to use nasal Narcan. So we started this project. We sent some letters out to some bars, restaurants and bars and said, look, We'll teach you how to do this and then I'll donate um, a kit to you so you can have an Arcan kit and you know, keep it in a safe because they, they tend to walk away. Um, in addition, with, this is probably the seventh or eighth program we've had. In addition, uh, we have, um, I have prescriptions for Narcan that get filled for anybody that wants them. They're pre-signed. You can take one and you can go to your local pharmacy. Um, so, we'll talk a little bit after we do the show. The show only takes about five minutes, and now you're not going to mess this up. Okay, take it off. Welcome to Accessible Recovery Services, Opioid Overdose, and the Loxone Training. This video will cover the recognition of opioid overdose and the treatment of opioid overdose with internasal naloxone. First, what is naloxone? Naloxone is a medication also known as Narcan. When someone overdoses on opioids, they stop breathing. Naloxone can reverse this effect. What exactly are opioids? Opioids include drugs such as heroin, methadone, oxycodone, Vicodin, Percocet, codeine, and various types of fentanyl. Narcan does not treat overdoses from drugs such as cocaine, meth, alcohol, stimulants such as Adderall, and benzodiazepines such as Xanax and Valium. Step 1. Recognizing the signs of an overdose. Signs can include slow breathing or no breathing at all, pale blue or gray skin, especially in the lips or fingernails, gurgling, snoring, or choking sounds, loss of motor control, limp or unresponsive, vomiting, and no response to yelling, knuckle rub, or other stimulation. Step two, the most important thing is to stay calm and call 911 first. This is critical. There may be complications that require medical attention. In addition, they may have overdosed on something other than heroin or other opiates. The quickest way to see if a person is responsive is the knuckle rub. Take your knuckles and rub them firmly up and down the person's chest bone. If the person does not respond, check for breathing. Watch their chest to see if it rises and falls, then put your ear next to their face to feel for breath. If you haven't already, call 911 now. Step three, rescue breathing. The next step is rescue breathing. First, check the person's mouth and airway for any obstructions. If you see any, use your pointer finger to remove them. Then place your hand on their forehead and fingers under their chin to tilt their head back. Close their nose and give them one rescue breath for every five seconds. Continue doing this for about 30 seconds. Step four, naloxone or Narcan. If the person is still not breathing, it's now time to administer naloxone. The naloxone kit includes the following, an atomizer, a vial of naloxone, and a plastic applicator. First, remove the colored caps from the applicator. Then, remove the colored cap from the naloxone. Be careful, the vial is made of glass, so be careful when handling it. Next, screw the atomizer to the applicator until tight. Then insert the open end of the naloxone into the wide end of the applicator. Gently twist until you feel it catch. Each vial contains two milliliters of naloxone. You'll be administering one milliliter, or half, into each of the person's nostrils. Insert the atomizer into each nostril until it forms a seal and push the vial firmly. Then repeat with the other nostril. Step five, rescue breathing. You will then resume rescue breathing. 
It may take several minutes for the naloxone to start working. Brain damage can occur within three to five minutes, so you need to breathe for the person until they're able to breathe on their own. Again, it is important that you call 911 so that help is on the way. Withdrawal. If the person is dependent on heroin or other opioids, they may go into withdrawal after being given naloxone. Withdrawal symptoms can include vomiting, diarrhea, sweating, and agitated or inappropriate behavior. This may be upsetting and dramatic, but it is not life-threatening. Follow-up. Inform the person that the naloxone wears off after 30 to 45 minutes and that there are still drugs in their system. Within 90 minutes, the withdrawal effects will be gone. Watch the person until medical services arrive because they may go back into overdose. Keep them calm and recommend that they seek medical attention and help them if necessary. It's important that they not be allowed to use heroin or other drugs as the naloxone will block it and they can overdose again. Recovery Position If you have to leave the person at any point, put them into the recovery position. Roll them over onto their side and bend their knee. Support their head with their arm. This position will keep them from rolling over onto their back so they won't choke if they happen to vomit. Overdose Overdose is most common when your tolerance is down, when you mix drugs such as alcohol and benzos, when the person has already been sick or dehydrated, and when drugs are stronger than anticipated. Prevention The best way to avoid overdose is by avoiding illegal substances. Although if you do choose to use, be careful when mixing drugs, go slow after long breaks of use, and make sure that you're eating properly and drinking plenty of water. In review, if you find someone you suspect is suffering from an overdose, begin by checking for consciousness and breathing. Use the knuckle rub to check for responsiveness. Call 911. Next, begin rescue breathing, giving one breath every five seconds for approximately 30 seconds. Then administer the naloxone, half or one milliliter, into each nostril. Continue breathing until they can breathe on their own or medical help arrives. If you have to leave for any reason, put them into the recovery position. Finally, make sure you call 911. This may be the most important step in saving a person's life. This video was created by Accessible Recovery Services and Dr. Frank Kunkel, Chief Medical Officer. Please visit our website at AccessibleRecoveryServices.com for more information. And for our